Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your webcam so you can get the most out of it. My name is Bushwhack18. I stream live on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Let's talk about setting up your webcam. The reason you want to set up your webcam properly is obviously so it looks as good as possible and you're getting the most value out of the money you spent to improve that streaming experience. The webcam that I use is the Logitech Brio. And there's a full review incoming on that webcam and how to specifically set up that webcam down the road. The first thing you want to take into consideration when optimizing your webcam before you go into any settings or anything like that is make sure you have the proper lighting. Lighting is going to make the biggest difference for any webcam right off the bat. If you're in a dark situation and you're not well lit, the webcam is going to struggle to pick up you and your environment. For a full guide to lighting your webcam properly, check out my YouTube video. I spend a few minutes explaining everything and showing what it looks like with lighting versus without lighting on multiple webcams. Once you have a well-lit situation in place, you're going to add your webcam as a source into your scene in Streamlabs. That's super easy to do. I'll show you how right now. So here we are in Streamlabs. What you're going to do is you're going to create a new scene. I have one of them right here. Second monitor capture. That's just what I named it for today. You can name it whatever you want. Now in each scene, you have what's called sources right over here. So you're going to have to hit the plus button right here. And you're going to go to video capture device add source once you're in here you're probably gonna have to add a new source okay name it whatever you want add source once you do that you go into the device right here select your webcam make sure that you go down here hit custom next to resolution slash fps type and you're gonna probably want it at either 1920 times 1080 depending on what webcam you have or you're gonna want it at 720p either way you're gonna want to have the fps at 60. So select Brio, 1920 by 1080. We could go down to 720p if we wanted to. I'm gonna select 60 FPS. Boom. Then you're just gonna hit done. That's all you're gonna do here. Hit done. Good to go. Alright, so once you have your webcam here in sources, you're gonna highlight it, click on the settings tab. Hit configure video. So we have a bunch of options here in this properties box. That's what we're looking at. Here's the meat and potatoes. We're gonna leave brightness, contrast alone. Saturation and sharpness you can mess with a little bit if you want to, a little bit. You don't wanna go overkill on these because it's gonna make your stream look really bad if you do too much of either of them. Saturation is just gonna add or take away a little bit of vibrance, a little bit of color. And the sharpness might make it a little bit sharper. But if you go too high on the sharpness, you look really noisy like this. So we don't wanna do that. If you get really high on the saturation, you blow the colors out like that. So next is white balance. When you first set this up, it's gonna be on automatic. You, you wanna take that off automatic, and overall you want a minimum number of values in this property box set to automatic, because the more things that are being automatically adjusted on the fly, the more stress your CPU is gonna be under, and the more potential you're gonna have for your stream to drop frames or your gameplay if you're running from a one PC setup. You're gonna take that off auto, and you're gonna move this slider from left to right until your skin tone looks realistic. So I'm at about 5,500. That's what I've figured out after a lot of trial and error. So I'm gonna hit apply. Then we're gonna to go to the camera control tab. There's more options here. We have the zoom function, which typically your webcam will start at zero. My webcam is super far away from me. So that's why I have it set to value 145. So I hit apply, boom. Focus, you might find that autofocus will be on on your webcam. You wanna take that off and find the value, the value that looks the best for you. For me, I just keep it on zero because it looks super sharp, okay? Exposure, you leave that on auto. That's the only thing you leave on auto, especially with the Logitech webcams. I notice as soon as you go into a custom exposure, your FPS, it's super choppy. It gets super weird, see, when you're moving around. I don't like that, I don't like that slowdown. So we're gonna set it to auto. And then low light compensation down here, we're gonna make sure that that is off. Unless you haven't gone out of your way to get really good lighting. 
if you're in a darker environment you might want to leave the low light compensation on just so people can see you better pan and tilt that's all it does moves back and forth for pan tilt up and down okay so depending on your situation you can adjust those however you want i just leave them at zero because my webcam is pretty well centered then you hit apply okay done and then you're good to go you're good to go in streamlabs your camera is set up all you need to do now and this is the easy part is figure out where on your display you want to put your webcam move it around anywhere and you can resize it so if you want a scene where it's just the webcam you can blow it up like this if you want it in a corner for gameplay you can pick your corner and do whatever anywhere you want you can put it right in the middle if you want to be really freaking weird and just annoy all your viewers but normally people put this somewhere in a corner i'm sure you've seen it before sound good guys i hope this helps if you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible don't forget to subscribe too for more stream help in the future as well as tech reviews also if you want to ask me a question when i'm live on twitch feel free to follow my twitch link is in the description and i'll see you guys over there Close till I get up Time is barely out